Welcome to episode one yes. of our new show. She is Laís and I am the coach. And that is the name of our show. Of all, if there's ever been a time for personal bubble, right, this right. is We will always stay true to what we do. So you are just going to get you to the next place. Right. Throw the list away. It's going to be a matter of time before you cave. <laughs> you can look way better than you used to. Such a great experience. Well, like it knows everything you've given. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't have like any. It's shown curiosity. <laughs> What if it actually works? I've been chopped down como persona. 100%. For next drill. Fire my city right now. Oh. Sometimes it is yeah. a member. Welcome everybody. Peace out everybody. Welcome everybody to Laís and the Coach and what will be our final episode here. <sighs> Guys, what? I'm excited. <laughs> <laughs> we have a few things that we want to cover today. We're a few podcasts behind, number one. Yeah. Our apologies. Sure. Uh, so we're going to cover everything that we should have covered a couple podcasts ago. But we are also going to get into what we are calling our next chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, moving forward, we are leaving the <laughs> jungle. Jungle! <laughs> the jungle no longer aligns with who we are, mm -hmm. and we will no longer be walking the, the mean streets of the jungle. <laughs> So, newsflash. Break it there. down, break it down, break it break down, it babe. Down. Before I break it down, let's get back to the podcast that we should have done three or four weeks ago at this point. Okay. The Mr. and Mrs. Smith Fitness Challenge. Mm. We were going to do a podcast on that, and we are on the final week or we are? the final, yeah, the final week. Yeah. I thought it was six weeks. Yeah, babe. Oh, that's right. That's right. Till April 1st. Yeah. I failed. <laughs> you failed too. No, I didn't. I have yes, numbers. I have numbers too. Okay. So <laughs> who's going to win? So basically what we talked about is uh, just to bring you guys up to date, the reason that we were doing that in the first place, mm -hmm. we were chatting about how, you know, sometimes one person will want to work out. The other one won't, or look like, let's go out to dinner. Let's do this. Let's do the other. So we decided to challenge each other, right? It's mm -hmm. like, how much could we do individually over the course of six weeks as, I guess, like a momentum shift? Momentum builder. Momentum builder, yeah. momentum shift. Mm -hmm. And we announced it five weeks ago. And the idea was for us to do as much as we could inside of those six weeks mm -hmm. so that we could start April 1st, April 1st on the other side of what we were doing in the past, which is just work. Yeah. We had kind of like, Really, for us. yeah, for us, exactly. That's right. an important thing. We had kind of like just put our our workouts on the back burner, mm -hmm. and instead of working out four or five, six days a week, it dropped down to two or three for mm -hmm. several weeks. It was yes. a lot of work. Um, so, and honestly, like it, it's not that it couldn't have happened, but you start to kind of like get into a routine or a flow that isn't supportive of that mm -hmm. and we caught it and we decided to interrupt I mean it. momentum builds in whichever direction right momentum like, builds in whatever so direction you were going in we were so, definitely building some momentum so we decided to work. just challenge each other and kind of like bring everybody along with that and along the way if you've been following like I post when I'm on the bike she posts when she's on the treadmill she works out in the garage I've been working out at the gym so I can I can show you mm -hmm. on my you can't win you know why because you never set parameters. Wow. <laughs> so I don't know what I had to beat. <laughs> I can show you on my Aura Ring app. How I don't many, have an Aura Ring. How many more workouts I did compared to the first two months of the year. Just like I'm sure you can show mm -hmm. on your 17 different notepads <laughs> that I'm you keep track. I'm a paper person. This is getting very hostile. It's not, but I, you didn't even let me finish talking. <laughs> I wasn't jabbing at you. <laughs> mm -hmm. so anyway it's been an improvement for both of us yeah at the end of the day uh the amount of like crowns on the aura ring have 
tripled compared to the first two months of the year. Yes. And the amount of workouts that she got have also uh, doubled, I think. We're on track. So we are on track. So there's no good. there's no losing. Yeah. Right? But somebody who's not competitive, <laughs> wow, I'm glad you all witnessed that one. <laughs> but anyway, uh, anyway, but there are numbers to support yes. uh, how much progress has been made. Mm -hmm. uh, and in addition to that, how we feel. Yes. So, Mostly how we feel. So I think that what we need to do is repeat this Mr. and Mrs. Smith fitness challenge okay. uh, with parameters. Let's do it. But we are not going to talk about that today. I want parameters and I want the prize. <laughs> okay. So <laughs> what we are going to talk about today is this next adventure. It's the next chapter. So there's a lot of things that have led us to this moment. Um, ever since we moved into this house, we've gone... Which was when? Uh, three years ago? Mm -hmm. hmm. Ever since we moved into this house, we have been on the fence on what we wanted to do next. Mm -hmm. Because when we moved in here, I think the very next week, we went on our uh, first cross-country road trip to Vegas. Yep. And I got to tell you, like, I'm sure you've heard the story if you watch some of our other episodes, but we had an amazing time. One of the best times ever. ever. I, as a matter of fact, it set the tone for what would be a bunch of new adventures. Mm -hmm. But along the way, like every time we were somewhere, we were like, we should live here. We should live here. Why don't we move here? Why don't? And it's honestly become a running joke. But <laughs> he's like, you want to live everywhere, but right? we both do it. But Ever since that moment, we're like, you know, there are so many more things that we could be doing yes, uh, and so many new experiences that we could have. And I think that that trip kind of like lit, lit the idea that there was just more to this life to experience uh, than, than the routine of doing the same things every single day. And listen, and we love what we do. Everything about what we do is by design. We love all of it. But I think that it opened up possibilities that we just had not considered, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. Because up until that, that point, uh, we had been, I guess- oh, personal today. I guess we had always been in a rush Ooh. to get back to our gym yeah. because we had to service our members. And that was the first time that we didn't because uh, we left and we had no time to return home and nothing stopped. You know, we are able to coach everybody from the phone, yeah. from the laptop. I did consultations on Zoom on the road at different hotels. Any of my clients that I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for, I would open up the laptop in whatever hotel lobby I was in, mm -hmm. delivered workouts, Zoom meal plans workouts, got sent, everything got done. Posing sessions, everything. We would be on the in the middle of the highway in New Mexico, and there would be Zoom live Zoom workouts. We were in a rainstorm leaving Vegas. I was doing a consultation on the phone nothing stopped and mm -hmm. honestly like that just lit up a world of possibilities yes and then ever since then we have done a few cross-country road trips we've gone up north yes uh we've gone uh to kentucky driving from from here in central florida like and every time we are somewhere it's like you want to live here you want to live here so the entire time i could say the entire time that we have lived in this home we have always been wondering what else we could do or where else we could live yes and i think recently uh the i guess the itch mm -hmm. the itch started to get very very real last summer we went to new york in the summer yes and, and i was like i'm not leaving she did not want to come we back are here. staying in jersey like, and she was serious <laughs> i was serious i'm like i don't give a shit pack up the house sell everything i don't even care we're staying and that led to several weeks of going back and forth because I have lived in Jersey. Uh, it led to several weeks of going back and forth on how we could do it, uh, <clears throat> what the logistics were. You know, maybe we go up to Jersey and stay at an Airbnb for a couple weeks so that she could get, because it's very different to be somewhere for a few days on vacation than it is to live somewhere. And we've gone to Jersey, New York, New York a lot over the years, and we've spent time there, but I think Yes, it's different to live somewhere, and it's definitely different to be somewhere in the winter because usually we go in the winter. Right. And when we went this past summer, I was like, oh, my God, this is amazing. There's so much going on here. So vibrant. It's so vibrant because, again, we live in the jungle right now, mm -hmm. and I'm from Miami. We so 
first of all, we don't live in the jungle. <laughs> we don't live in the jungle. As, a, as a matter of fact, like if you saw in the intro, you know, we live in a very nice neighborhood that is one with nature. Listen, I couldn't have dreamt any of this up. Like it's stunning. And, and the jungle stunning. that she speaks of is our walk along the golf course. Yeah, but there's so many bugs. <laughs> there are bugs And everywhere. snakes. It's, a, it's nature. It is a nature place. But anyway, while in New York, like she was very insistent on this and, and we were plotting how like, to do I'm it. I'm coming. <laughs> I don't know if you guys are. <laughs> but we were plotting how to do it. Yeah. And then when we got back, uh, we kind of like talked about it a little more. And it's not that the idea died out, but like anything else, there are always other moving parts. And we had we had an upcoming road trip again yeah. to Vegas. Yeah. Uh, we, it just didn't seem like the right time for that adventure. But we said that we would revisit it in the fall. A hundred percent. And then the summer came, we have a cross country trip to Vegas. And then there were circumstances during that trip outside of our control that maybe derailed some of those plans and then opened up a world of opportunities um, that were kind of like, I guess, a side effect. Yeah. Or a ripple effect. Yeah. You know, I don't know if any of you do time traveling or if you've time traveled <laughs> before, but if you move something in the space time continuum, it creates a ripple effect into a different dimension. So you've got to maintain the course as is. And that's kind of what happened. <laughs> there, was an, free space. there was an interruption in the space time continuum, and that created a ripple effect that has led us to where we are now. All right. Well, we all know who's the scientist and who's not. Okay. If you've never time traveled, let me know in the comments. We could talk about it. It's a thing. It's a, it's real. <laughs> anyway. See, like we're in the jungle. It's a thing for me. Right. Anyway, since then, we have talked about moving other places. We revisited the idea of moving to Miami. We've been to Miami. Every week. <laughs> I don't know, like 20, it's March 25th. How many at times have we been to Miami this since year. the first of the year? At least 20 at times. At least 20 times. Uh, for multiple days. So obviously we revisited the idea of moving back to Miami. And it's not that that is not on the table. Yeah. But what is on the table is that over the last couple of weeks, what we've really been talking about is kind of like creating this next version or this next level oddly enough we changed our team name to next level if you didn't know uh we changed the team name uh of our prep team to team next level uh because it, it really seemed like along with the things that we are feeling everyone that we coach was looking for that next level yep uh and we also changed the name of our coaching program to next level mm -hmm. because that went along or was in line with everything that we are talking about right now, which yeah. is we are looking for that next level of us and living here for the last three, three and years. a half years, three and a half years, right? Wow. It's a long time. Yeah. We've I never lived anywhere that I long. I lasted this long. <laughs> We've never lived anywhere this long. Uh, but <clears throat> it doesn't seem like we can get to this next level that we are looking for if we stay here, right? So with that said, our next chapter or our next level will not be here. That does not mean that any of the other things that we are doing change. Nothing changes. Our coaching continues. We have an amazing next level photo shoot that we are planning. There are shows. There are shows. There are travel. Like there's traveling. We've got, we've got an amazing, an amazing weekend plan for everybody that's on our team that is going to WBFF Worlds in August in Miami. Mm -hmm. uh, none of that changes. What changes for us is opening the door to the possibility of creating whatever that next version of us looks like. Yep. And what we have found is that the routine that we have now, the pattern that we are following the now, habits. it is not conducive to letting us do that. Because yes. like anything else, we could talk about it. We talk about it all the time. Uh, but you fall into the same cycle of things. And I, and I talked about it on the other podcast, like that exit analogy, yeah. right? Yeah, I talk about it in my women's group all the time too. And if you didn't know, she has a women's group on Facebook that if you are not a part of, you should join. Yes, it's a free private group for women only. But anyway, I have so much to say, so I'll continue so I don't cut you off. Go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's like 
you have to like, I think we have to explain like really well where we are, because if not, it would seem like it may or may not be good. Like this is, like I said earlier, like I couldn't have dreamt this up. Like we love everything that we do. We love our home. We love our neighborhood. It's like a dream. But I think that over the, the last few years, we've wanted, we've always loved event, adventure. We've always been the type of people that are like, life is an adventure. It's way too short. We are in charge of, of making anything that we want happen. Uh, everything is under our control. As long as we're healthy, everything is good. And so I think that that's always been the mindset. And over the years, we've really gotten busier, but also like settled into you know, like just a lot of things that normally we wouldn't have, like, again, like the comfort of like, okay, like we're here and this is great. And, and it's like the last few months, like we've been like, okay, like there's no way that we can actually reach that next level of us, like with just keeping everything the same. And I think what I was going to say is a lot of times every single person does this where like, we just get caught up in our everyday life. Like mm -hmm. we just get caught up in like, you wake up, you probably do the same things, the same exact way, because I've analyzed that about myself. Like I literally will get up, and I will walk around and I will open the blinds and I will make the bed and then I will pee and then I will brush my teeth and then I will come out and I will say good morning to you and then I will make your coffee and I will do it the same way. I put the coffee and I put the, the sugar and then I give it to you and I make my, it's like, it's like a robot. If you really pay attention, you're like, holy shit, like I'm doing the same thing the same way every single day. And there's magic and routine. Believe me, I do like routine and I do like familiarity and I do like stability. And again, I'm not like some psycho. Every routine we have built. We is... love something we love we love nothing nothing is imposed on me right? right like we've created a life by design in every way but i think that if we don't because i think when we've talked about this on the podcast humans are such a creature of habit mm -hmm. right if we don't pay attention to our habits and our patterns and our behavior and if we don't stop right because we're all so busy and if we're not busy actually physically doing something we're very busy mentally like mm -hmm. we're always thinking about stuff we're always consuming stuff we're listening to stuff we're scrolling on stuff like it's so busy like if you stop and you really analyze your life your every day where you live who you get to spend your time with who you interact with every day who you're following on social media and again this is something i talk about in the women's group all the time what you're eating, how your schedule goes, how your work is going, like everything. Like when you analyze everything about your life, like is it exactly the way that you want it? And I think that a lot of times it, the answer is no. And worse than that, people don't think that it can be or that it should be. So many times people are like, yeah, but that's just how life is. Like everything isn't like sunshines and rainbows or you got to do what you got to do. And it's like, believe me, <laughs> we will tell our story because we all have phases in life where it's time to eat shit. Well, I think that, that <clears throat> the, the thing about that is that most people don't have a clear definition of what they even want in the first place, exactly. right? And for us, success or, or, success, this, yeah. or this life by design has a clear definition. To us, success is being able to live life on our terms. That's it. Doing what we want, when we want, with who we want, as much as we want, and that, isn't necessarily tied to a dollar amount. That right. is tied to a lifestyle. Yes, uh, a life experience. And that has always been clear for us. Even in the, in the worst of moments, it was what we wanted to do, right? So everything has always been kind of like guided by that definition, right? right? That's and, our North Star. <laughs> and, this, and this is no different. But I think that if you wanna think about it a different way, because we do talk about fitness, if you went to the gym and it's, your favorite gym and they've got all the best equipment and your favorite music and they have your favorite music and they have a smoothie bar that you like and all those things are cool and every day you went and did the same workout on monday the same workout on tuesday on wednesday on thursday and you didn't increase your reps and you didn't increase the weight and you didn't change anything about it at first it's amazing but if you're going to the gym to make progress yes you're not, gonna, you're not gonna because something has to change. There has to be some sort of progression. You either need to do more reps. You need to do another set. You need to add, uh, uh, what you call it, more resistance to your exercises. Yeah. Maybe you change the sequence. Maybe you change what you're doing on Monday. Do it on Friday instead. Something needs to be different in order to push you to the next thing. If you're not growing, you're dying. I was just there say is that. no in in between. You stay here. Yep. Because when you stop making progress, you start moving backwards. It's impossible not to. It is what there it is. There is no maintaining. And we are very conscious of that. And we don't like that. So because we don't like that, then we can do something about it. And that's kind of what brought us here. Yep. I feel like every day 
we're on borrowed time, like not to sound morbid, but more like I like we need to max out this life, like in every way, like in how we experience every day, in the interactions that we have with our kids and the interactions that we have with our friends and the, in the, the, the experience that we have with the people that we get to coach and, and be a part of their life and their journey. It's like, this is just, that's all it is, right? Like we're, we're souls and human body or whatever it is. Like we are, we are spiritual beings having a human experience. There we go. That's what it was. And if what's, um, tell everyone about the book because it's so good. The, the, the conversations with God. Oh, com- amazing conversations book. with God is one of my favorite books. Yes. Um, and she's been. I listen to it to take naps. <laughs> <laughs> it's uh, so good. But many many years ago, when I first uh, bought the book, I would listen to it while I was sleeping. Yeah. And uh, recently, like I guess I put her onto it. Yeah, we're not religious, but we are spiritual. Yeah. And again, so what is it? We are spiritual beings. We are spiritual beings having a human experience. Exactly. And we are all in control of that human experience. Right? But I did want to go back to something it. something that you said, because I think that a lot of times, even what we do gets misinterpreted to, we just help people get ready for the stage or we help people lose weight. Yeah. Listen, you get one shot at this go around. We are all here the one time, right? In this body. What I feel like I do is I help people maximize the ability to uh, have the most optimum performance while they are here. If you are feeding your body the right way and training your body in a way that makes it function better, and as a result of that, you get to max maximize your time here, then that's what I do. Yep. Like It isn't macros and it isn't calories and I give two craps about what you actually eat. I feel 100% confident saying that what I actually do is help maximize your experience here through food and exercise. Yes. I love that. And it's so true. It is so true. And so we've been talking a lot about, are we maximizing our life? Are we, you know, do we have clarity in everything that we want to do? And if we do, are we headed in that direction? What changes do we need to make? We're always doing that. That isn't mm-hmm. new. We're isn't always new. analyzing and analyzing. And it's not overanalyzing. It's really just having a lot of conversations. And we don't do the hamster wheel. We don't do the groundhog day. We don't do the, well, that's just how life is. Like, we are always paying attention. Life is like that for whoever wants it to be like that. Exactly. We are paying attention because we are we are always aware that we are in full control of how this experience goes for us. So one of the things that we've decided <laughs> recently is that, you know what? Like, this has been an amazing chapter, this neighborhood this home, this town. It's been absolutely incredible, but it is time to move on because we have maxed out everything that we can be and do here. We've already maxed it out. Mm -hmm. And so it's time to move on. That's it. That's That's exactly it. it. That's it. And then that brings us to the next part. (laughs) So as a result of that, we've literally made that this, uh, today's Monday. We made that decision Saturday afternoon. And we're here sharing it with all of you guys. And we are already here sharing with all of you. But between Saturday and after, afternoon mm-hmm. and whatever time it is now when we're recording Monday afternoon. this. Monday afternoon. We have pretty much sold half the shit that we have in the house. Uh, we got a storage unit today. Box. Uh, we got a P.O. box. And we don't know what's next. And I think that that's one of the reasons. And that that's we, okay. And that's, but that's one of the reasons that we wanted to share it. Yes. Uh, we wanted to give people insight to what it's like not knowing what's next and taking the step anyway and moving forward with it anyway and another reason that we wanted to document this is because the last time that we were in a situation like this where we didn't know what was next it wasn't a great time for us no and it was not like this (laughs) and in retrospect i wish we would have documented it right? To share it so that yes. people could see. Uh, and we didn't. Um, so for, for that reason and for everything else that I just said, we're going to bring everybody along on, I don't know what kind of adventure we're going to have. Because the truth is that right now there are a bunch of things on the schedule. We are leaving to Miami on Thursday. Thursday. We're leaving to Miami on Thursday. Then we get back and we have a four-day uh, conference to go to. And then we're on a nine-day road trip up north. Mm-hmm. And it's nine days because that's what we said, but but it could be fifteen, it could be twenty. We really don't know where we're going to be next, and I think that that is so exciting. It's so exciting um, because we <laughs> get to create step by step what we want to do next, and and I know that sometimes people will hear something like that 
and say, yeah, you could do that. Because crazy. Or, or no, I was going to say the other <laughs> thing. It's like, you could do that because you work from home or you work from your phone. Or your or, kid's homeschooled. Or your kid's homeschooled. That's all by design. Right? But I don't think that it's that. I, I think that even if someone had the same thing, right? Like they work from home and their kid was homeschooled. Taking that kind of risk or, or going, leap, that leap. going to the unknown like that isn't really something that people do it because isn't. they don't do it in other areas of their life. Yeah. Forget the specifics and forget the semantics, right? It's like, forget the, I work from home or from my phone and you don't, or I have a kid homeschooled and you don't. There are plenty of people who work from their phone or don't even have kids that wouldn't necessarily do something like that. So it's not about what's similar or what's not similar. The point of this whole thing for us and the reason why we're sharing it, right? Because we obviously didn't have to. It's like everyone should have the balls to live their life their way. Live your life. Don't just go through life. Don't just get through life. Don't just life. Like live your life. Experience your life. Dive all the way in. I feel Maybe, like I feel like most people are just <clears throat> waiting. They're just that's it. They're just waking and up every day paralyzed. and it's another day. Yeah. yeah. And maybe you can't pack up your house and sell everything and put some things in storage and get a PO box and just leave without the next thing in play, right? Like maybe you can't for, for your reasons, that's okay. But if you're not happy right now, are you taking steps to be able to do the next thing, right? Like maybe you can't do it in a matter of days, but can you do it in six months? Can you do it in three months? Will you do it? Or will you just get comfortable inside? Because I think the doing? alternative is, <clears throat> listen, a lot of people are happy doing whatever it is that they, if you're truly happy doing what you happy. want, that's freaking 100%. awesome. Back to clarity back to clarity and and life being on your terms 100%. right but if you're not if there's anything that you're not <sighs> like and I, I wrote about this in the page the other day like maybe you hate like we were at the gym the other day right the gym that's near here i hate that fucking place so much like i hate it i hate the colors i hate that it's dark i hate the people i despise it and every time i go there i'm like oh like i don't like it and it's like we were there the other day and we did a full workout and we get, he's looking at me and I'm making a face and I'm like, oh, it's fine. And, and then he's like, I'm like, you know what I was thinking? He's like, what? I'm like, I hate this place. I'm never coming back here. <laughs> Why the fuck would I do that? Why would I like on purpose go somewhere I don't like every single day? Like this doesn't make any sense. I'm like, I can work out in the garage. I can go to Kissimmee Russell. I can work out outside. I can work out in my fucking living room and have a better experience than this. I don't like this and I'm not going to do it anymore. It could be something that simple. It could be you don't like your local grocery store. It could be that you don't like grocery shopping. Instacart is amazing. It could be you don't like to do laundry. Poplin is amazing. Insert thing. And it's not that you shouldn't do anything. And none you of don't... those things are sponsoring the show yet. <laughs> yeah. And it shouldn't be that like, oh, you know, you only do what you like. You can't, you, you know, we all have to do things we don't like. That's not the point. Like if that's what you're thinking, you're missing the point. The point is your overall life should be very enjoyable. And it should be mostly sunshines and rainbows, right? And if it isn't, you need to figure out how you're going to make it so because it is your responsibility to have the experience that you want. And if it is, then great. But it can't be forever because we are always changing. The world's changing around us. We are changing. Our kids are changing. Everything is always changing and evolving. So taking inventory of yourself and of your life and seeing where there needs to be a shift and then making moves towards that shift. And that's where we're at is that for us, we like a grand adventure and we're like, we're going to take everybody along because right. it's important to live a big life, and whatever we, that means to you. And we wanted to do it now instead of tell everybody about it later because it's, it's kind of, I guess, the most vulnerable, right? Sharing. Very personal. Sharing that we have absolutely no idea what's coming next and we are going to bring you along that ride so that you could see it unfold in real time. So no, we don't have our next home. Right. We don't know where that's going to be. Um, but that's okay. We're going to figure it out together. And we hope that you guys are going to go on this ride with us so you can see it all unfold because it's one thing to talk about live a big life and do the things you love. And it's another thing to live it and to show it. Right. And I think it's important. It's important to, to walk your talk and it's important to put your money where your mouth is. Right. And to really do the thing. And it's like the same way that we eat and we train and we show you guys, here's the next meal. Here's the next training session. Sorry. Here's this and here's that. Right. It's like, it's to show you what's possible. It's like, that's the only reason it's, it's to show you that and, if I could do it, you could do it. Anyone can do right. anything. And I think we have well over a hundred episodes that we've done. And if you haven't subscribed to YouTube or Spotify or iTunes, then I got to tell you, this would be the time yeah. because if you want to get insight to what taking a risk looks like, uh, I think that that I I think that what we want to do is not only do it 
for us, but I think that we want to share it because we both feel like we should have shared the last one. Oh, yeah. And <laughs> we didn't uh, because it was a very scary time. And honestly, we're going to tell that story another day. Uh, but we do feel like this is an opportunity to bring everybody along that wants to see how this plays out uh, and what's on the other side of this. Yeah. And there is no better way to do it than to take you along in real time. Honestly, like I feel, as a matter of fact, I didn't tell you, but one of the things I got out of uh, what we were listening to yesterday is everyone does, everybody in, in our space, in the fitness space, has before and after pictures. Yes? Yes. Yes. And it's always been that way because what, what you are demonstrating is where somebody started and where they, where they are after they started, right? But I don't agree with that anymore. I think that there should be three pictures. There should be before, now, and the after is always unknown because you keep evolving. Yeah, I love so, that. So, like... There's no end. Right. There's... If you, if you even think about that picture, right? Like, the, the before and after picture is like, this is what I looked like before I started this journey, this program, this thing. And the after picture, honestly, already passed. Because if you posted that picture that you took today and you post it tomorrow, this new version of you has just started already. Yeah. So there is, a, there is a before, there is a now, and then the after part is something that you continue to work on. Yep. So the before is everything that we've done. The now is exactly what you're listening to in real time. Yep. And the after is the journey that we're about to go on, the adventure that we're about to go on. 100%. And life is a journey of self-creation more than anything. Like you said, here we don't feel like we're going to continue to become who we want to become. So that is what we are going out to do, to create that next chapter, to create that next version of us, the next version of everything around us. Our kids get to come along. You guys get to come along. And yeah, we will be out of here in the next week because we move very fast. People might be like, oh, maybe they're leaving in 30 days. Like, no, we will be out of here in the next few days. Um, cause that's just how we do things. When we decide something, we need to do it immediately. So, Not because we have to be out of here for like, we want to be like, we want to go, like we want to go do the thing. Right? right. So end of the month, we're out. So we have a current series that we're recording on YouTube. We will have updates on Instagram, mm -hmm. uh, for all of the things that we are doing. So don't miss it. Cause there's a lot coming there's a lot our, coming. there's a lot coming our way. There's a lot coming, uh, your way if you're watching, but we did want to make sure that we shared this. Uh, because in the midst of everything that's happening today, even doing this is something that we wanted to do. Because yeah. normally the reason that we haven't updated the podcast is because we're doing a lot of the same things over and over. And even this hasn't fallen into the routine yeah. uh, because the routine that we had didn't permit this to happen. So even this is an interruption. Yeah. So, so buckle up, bitches. <laughs> guys. YouTube, Instagram, we're going to share it all. Come along. The next chapter of Lais and the Coach is going to be on the road. It is. Peace out, everybody. Bye, oh, guys. wait. No, no, no. Let us know what you think in the comments. Yeah. Let's be more interactive, guys. Yeah. yeah. Let's talk because you know what? Like, we genuinely like sharing things like on Instagram, on YouTube, on the podcast. Like, I literally feel like I'm having a conversation with people. Right. And then it's like crickets. And then it's like, okay, I'm having a conversation with Brie. Right. Or with myself or with that camera square or round. Like, and then, but, but I want to feel like but we're then doing we, this when together. We, when we meet people, they're like, oh, I saw that on your podcast. Yeah, like, I'm yeah, like, you let us know. should have said something. <laughs> yeah, let us know, guys. Anyway. Let's make this a more interactive experience because yes. uh, there's a lot of food to eat. There's a lot of places to drive to. Yeah. Uh, and there's a lot of adventures coming our way. Uh, and we would love to bring you all along. Let's do it. Peace out, everybody. Bye, guys.